I'm here with Yuri Valchua, the music director designate of the Houston Symphony at the Pierre Boulez Hall of the Berlin State Opera. I wanted to sort of start at the beginning and ask you a little bit about your own background. What was your path to becoming a, a conductor? I was born in Bratislava. My first contact with music was my mother singing. And when I was eight or nine years old, I started playing a cymbalom. I studied cymbalom and composition. And as a composer, uh, I had to take some conducting lessons. And my teacher told me that I should do it more seriously. I went to Russia to study conducting and composition, and a little bit later in France. Your position as music director starts in 2022-23, and this won't be the first time that you've been, of course, with the Houston Symphony in Jones Hall. Can you tell me a little bit about your, your history with the orchestra and the, the experiences you've had so far? We have to go back to 2011. That was the year of my first visit to Houston and uh, first collaboration with the orchestra. And uh, I already felt a connection artistically and personally to this orchestra. And the last time, it was uh, last March. I remember I was welcomed so warmly and I had really feeling on stage um, a true pleasure to be on stage and a great joy to, to conduct this orchestra. And what was wonderful for those of us sitting in the audience, and I think those of us that got to hear the performance multiple times, was the kind of back and forth between you and the musicians. And I'm wondering just your thoughts on kind of that relationship to the, to the orchestra and, and, you know, what makes this happen. You know, it's always a great pleasure to feel like this. So I'm on stage, I'm not doing any sound, but their reaction to what I'm doing was just really uh, immediate. And it was like a discussion. You trust the orchestra, you trust musicians, and you can just sometimes improvise. What are the, the goals that you have in mind at the outset of this deepening of the relationship for where you'd like to take the Houston Symphony in the coming years? I think that artistic vision is also a reflection about what we do and why do we do it. Music inspires, music can change lives, I think that we should be very present for the community even more now than ever before. And I would like to give a space to diversity, imaginative programming, learning, and we shouldn't be present only locally, but also nationally and internationally. As you look ahead to the 2022-23 season, what, what is your programmatic vision for this first season of your music directorship? I will not give any name but it's going to be very simple. There will be uh, programs dedicated to well-known masterpieces from romantic and classical periods. Every season I would like to conduct oratorio, uh, choir symphonic uh, repertoire piece, at least one. Opera and concert performances will be also present in my programming, because I think that opera is something very important to an orchestra. It needs more flexibility. And just take care about something else than just playing an instrument. Now, I know you have ideas about how to engage the community and how to bring music to the, to the entire city. What are your, what are your thoughts on, on what you'd like to see happen in that regard in, in Houston? We musicians, we are always happy to perform in a full house, to see people coming to concerts. But the, sometimes it's very important to break distance between stage and the audience and just perform for people with a little access to concerts. For me, it will be very important to dedicate some time to young musicians because they are the future of music. You'll join us for a performance of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony in May of 2022. Your first performance with the Houston Symphony as music director designate, also with the chorus. Tell me, what do you expect it will be like to perform this pillar of the repertoire with, with your new orchestra? You know, I think uh, that there is not a better piece to conduct for the first time in Houston. There is a choir, and in one moment they are singing lyrics, Alle Menschen werden Brüder. All people become brothers. And we talk today quite a lot about very important thing, which is community. I cannot wait to be in front of the orchestra in Houston 
to conduct this symphony, this masterpiece. And I can tell you that already today, now, I know that I will enjoy it tremendously. Thank you.